up, what's up, what's up? What up? Fitness and nutrition success secrets by Jaman and John. All right, guys. So today's exciting. We are going to talk to you guys about what are we talking about? So we're going to be talking about the different macronutrients, macronutrients. and the different types of macros, and yep. give you guys some great insight on what exactly macros are, so you guys have an understanding and. By knowing macros, it's going to take your results to the next level. You know, what has come to my awareness is that people, we talk about, we say macros all the time when we're talking, but people have no idea what macros are. They're like, well, what's macros? You know, and they, when you break down the macros, they don't even know wh what each macro is made of, right? So macronutrients, right? What are they? They are you got protein, protein fat, carbs, like fats, and then carbs. carbs. Right? So those are your ma uh, macronutrients, right? And then there's micronutrients. We're not going to get into that right now, it right? It's a little technical. <laughs> it gets a little more technical. We'll get there. We'll get there. But when you eat, right, the food is compromised of macronutrients, right? So at the end of the day, you want to make sure you're getting in meat in your macros, right? And there are diet programs that are designed just in that, right? If it fits your macros, you eat it, right? Yep. Because if you can dial in, you can get very specific with this right to the T, that's what we do when we compete. Literally, we measure every single macro we're putting mm -hmm. into our body because when you get that detail, every little thing is responsible for each <laughs> definition <laughs> you see there. You get what I'm saying? So you can get really dialed in as much as you want, and the more dialed in you are with the macros coming to your body, the better results you're going to do. Get Right now, some of us are eating and not even aware of even know what, macros what, what we're putting into a body, yeah. right? We're just eating. Oh, let me eat this, let me eat that, let me eat that. At the end of the day, it's like, how much calories did it consume? Okay? 2,000 calories? All right. Out of that 2,000 calories, what was the macro breakdown? Mm -hmm. Right? Some people are getting like 90% fat, yep. right? And like 5% protein and 5% carbs. Some people are getting like 90% carbs and like 5% protein. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you can say, hey, Jamal, but... I didn't eat that much. I only ate a thousand calories, but it's like, what did that thousand calories consist of? What was the yeah, macronutrient yeah, yeah. breakdown? Right? That's what we have to and look everybody's at. Everybody's body acts differently. Differently. Like I might do really well with my macros as far as having higher carb rather yep. than someone who's maybe carb intolerant doesn't do well. Yep. Because my body does great with carbs. Yep. Some people doesn't. Some people they do fantastic with fats. fats. They yeah. Need more fats in their diet. And yeah. The, the fats in their diet are what give them the nice chiseled set of abs. Exactly. So everybody's different. So that's why it's so important that you don't just follow a diet, but you kind of get an understanding of what the macro breakdown is yep. per se. For that diet and knowing your macros is just extremely important because again it's your body it's like like he always brings up the Porsche if you know you have a Porsche you're not gonna be just putting regular gas in it yep. again, it's not gonna run it's not gonna it's not gonna you know give you that leverage you need to get from point A to point B but if you put premium in it because you know it's a Porsche then your car is gonna perform better so the same goes for your body when it, when it comes to consuming macros and what types of food you're putting in your body 100% so. you know and um, macros each everybody's different Right? Each individual is different. So some people, like John was saying, do better with higher fat ratios. Some people do better with higher carb ratios. Right? So it comes down to knowing how yeah, knowing your body, knowing your body wow, first, then knowing how to build that ratio, and then trial and error, right? So you might try something. This is why some of the diet programs I create for the challenge works for some and it doesn't work for others. Right? And some people are like, I don't get it. I did the summer slim down program and I lost weight, but now I'm doing the fall one. I'm not losing it. Because each time I'm always messing with the macronutrients, right? Because I know everybody's different, so I'm not gonna do the same macro breakdown every time on each diet. Because then some people who won't lose weight will lose weight. You know what I'm saying? So I have to always change it up. But if you want the most precise results of your body, you have to know your breakdown. You have to sit there with a professional who knows what they're doing, like one of us, right? I know you break that. Or you can read my damn book. <laughs> this is what the fifth time is, Every time, every time. Listen, what, what chapter is in here? It's all about, all right, macronutrient Eat breakdown. Macros, yeah, Cal calculating your daily caloric, all right, target. And then it goes into breaking down your macros, right? And then it talks about eating your micronutrients too. Listen, it's all in here. However, we can't really go into breaking it all down today because it's gonna take a long time. We're trying to keep this video short, all right? Some of you guys don't have the attention span for that. But you know, you can talk to any one of us. We can sit and work with you guys and do this, or literally you can read the book. I give you a guide, step by step, on how to do that, all right? But um, so we wanna know what are micronutrients. We'll answer that. 
They're your protein, your carbs, and your fat, right? Um, and how much of each should you be having, okay? This is where we said, you know, everybody's different, okay? So how should we break that down? The average macronutrient ratio for, is, fat, uh, loss, for fat loss usually is 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 20. That right. usually is like a good start. And then from yeah. there, that's where you start tweaking everything. Yeah. And some of you guys said, what the heck is 40, 40, 20? That's the ratio. 40%. So if you're eating 2,000 calories a day, 40% of that calories is protein, all right? 40% of that calories is, uh, is carbs, and then 20% of it is fat, right? So that's the 40, 40, 20. Now, that's a good baseline to start. When you start with that, the general majority of people will start seeing results. But you're gonna get to where that might need to tweak, where you might have to pull some of the carbs put into the protein. So now you're going like, you know, 30% protein, 50% carbs, you know, um, I mean 30% carbs, 50% protein, and 20% fats, right? Some people will require, depending on the body type, right? So I know um, 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 mesomorphs like us uh, um, and the um, and ectomorphs require higher carbs to build muscle. Right? Um, it's actually really <laughs> difficult for me yeah. to build muscle. muscle. I have to eat like 10,000 calories a, a day. Lot. Not really, but it, it, I a eat lot. a lot. Cause a I, lot. Because if you don't eat, we lose weight. Yeah. I, my calories drop down a little bit. I already lost like 10 pounds. And it's like, it's frustrating because I'm trying to put on size. You They're know what I'm saying? Right <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but here's the thing though. We eat clean, guys. Eat, yeah. Listen, we're talking about this. We've been doing this for a while. Um, we eat clean. We know exactly what we're putting into our body from beginning to the end of the day. We've gotten to the point where we've, we've measured it out and it's up here. So we can literally eyeball stuff and throw it in because we know exactly what it is, right? So if we're saying that our calorie, we're losing weight because our calorie's dropping because we work hard to put it up. However, if we're eating McDonald's and fries every day and that's what we're using to make up our macronutrients, we're not gonna be as lean and, 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 and jacked per se as we wanna be. So you gotta know exactly where your macronutrients are coming from. Right, so um, uh, so the break, the best macro breakdown for fat loss. Right, so John just said it, but we want to do a calculation and the best macronutrient for gains breakdown for gains. What would you say gains to build size? Probably higher again, depending on the type, right? But generally, if you want higher Usually protein, higher, yeah. higher carbs, 40, 40, 20 literally hits it all on, on most part. That's a good base to start, and then uh, and then you, you play with it. You increase, the, you increase the carbs. Some people are scared to increase carbs. I'm gonna tell you right now, you cannot be scared to increase carbs. Because carbs now, is- Real quick, what kind of, uh, as far as increasing carbs, what are, the, what are different types of carbs? Like what are the different Great types? Great question. Because this okay. is someone I know that's like, I don't know, what a, what's a fast digesting carb? What's a complex carb? Is, or he just told me the other day that someone asked him, is, uh, what'd you say, is rice or it's, is, it's uh, bread. is bread, is a, bread a, a carb? carb? And it's like, oh my God. Yeah, you know, so I mean, the, you know, they're complex that, carbs, they're simple carbs, you know, complex carbs, you're looking at your quinoa, your sweet potato, your brown rice, you know, simple carbs are stuff that your body is going to absorb right like away. Like a Gatorade, like Gatorade. Gatorade, 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 table sugar. Sugar, liquid related. juices yeah. are simple carbs, you know, um, white flour, simple carbs, cookies, all that, any kind of cake, cookies, Anything with a lot of sugar, a lot of sugar is it. simple. Your body absorbs it right away, that messes with your insulin level. Complex takes your body a while you know, uh, uh, break to down. break down. So what that does, that's gonna help your metabolism, right? That's gonna help your metabolism in your body. It's gonna sustain you a little bit longer. That's what some of you guys, when you eat fruits, like, fruits are simple carbs, right? When you eat a fruit, you're literally hungry within an hour, even 40 minutes. If you just ate a, like an apple, a banana right now, Oh my god, that's like a tease, and then I'm like starving. Yeah, you're starving. Because <laughs> you just, literally, your blood sugar goes up, you spike up. You, you, that's not going to hold you, but if you ate a cup of brown rice, so a banana, a, a medium-sized banana is about 30 grams of carbs, right? Half a cup of brown rice is about 28 grams of carbs, 25. You do half a cup of brown rice and a banana, I guarantee you that half a cup of brown rice is going to hold you over a lot longer, probably like an hour and a half. With the brown rice, you're going to be hungry within 20 minutes. And when you do, I mean, yeah, the, 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 um, the banana, you're going to be hungry within 20 minutes. The, the brown rice, you're going to hold out for an hour, an hour and a half. And that's what some of you guys will eat a fruit, and now you're hungry, you're starving. And then you go have a snack. And you go pick this, and you eat one cookie, right? One damn cookie. One cookie. <laughs> and you're like, 20 minutes later, shit, the whole box. Because ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it doesn't work. That's something I would do. You know, so that's why you got to eat a meal. When you do a full balanced meal where you're getting in all the right macronutrient portions and nutrient in that. Dense nutrient meal. dense meal. Not McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Or cookies. You know, um, 
So yeah, so carbs. Dig more into carbs. Oh, uh, so what would you consider vegetables then? What kind of carb is a vegetable then? Mm. He has to sip his rock real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, fibrous carbs. Okay, now you what's, know? what's the important about fibrous carbs? Oh man, fiber. Well, he, right, he just said it, fiber. Oh, Jamie, people didn't, didn't put that people fiber. People probably don't even know what fiber is. <laughs> you know, people probably don't even know what fiber is. Well, it, it, the thing, guys, education is important, man. You guys got to educate yourself. Sometimes you guys ask us questions. You, uh, the Google, there's something that is cr that's created that you can literally go in and you can get any answer you want. It's called Google. <laughs> it's called Google. And it's YouTube. Yeah. And literally anything you want to know, you put it on there, Fly. it's like magician. You get the answer, right? You don't even have to go to school these days. You can teach yourself all these stuff. So you have to educate yourself so that you know exactly what you're putting into your body and you know the breakdown of that. You can literally learn all this shit online, guys. So rather than saying, oh, I didn't know, look it up. You know, always research, always look it up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, you need, you need your fibrous carbs. You know, you want to tell them why you need fibrous carbs? Just, it's mainly where your vitamins and nutrients are. I mean, truthfully, re eating regular carbs, you're, you're going to need because, again, your body needs that sugar. Your brain needs that sugar. That's why when we do these crazy diets or you follow these ketogenic diets nowadays where they're cutting out carbs, that's where you get the foggy headache, mm -hmm. you feel lethargic, you feel groggy. But, I mean, you're going to lose weight, but, again, you're sh you can't live a, You can't live. When you get back life. to yeah. eating real food... Yeah. You know, this is it with the keto diet. I love it. It's great, right? People get great amazing results. Great job. It's great. And, and it's a great way to lose weight. But you got to understand, I know a lot of fitness guys, a lot of bodybuilders have converted to keto and they're getting shredded. Like, like, I'm talking shredded. But they can't live off that, right? I know three bodybuilders that I've competed with that did the keto and literally they go out on a, on a, on a Saturday. We go out and it's like they, <laughs> they feel miserable because they can't eat. So now it's like... Now they have to eat carbs, right? So now they're switching like six weeks ketos, two weeks of normal eating, so that way they can still lose the weight. So it's, you know, the, guys, don't worry about the keto. The, some of you guys might be asking. If you don't know what it is, you don't know what it is, just keep it, just keep it moving, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But that's when you cut out carbs and you're doing mostly fats, you know, protein. Again, it's great. Yeah, but again, greens are extremely important. Greens are important. It's basically simple as this. You get all your nutrients and stuff from greens because most of us don't eat enough greens. And your body yes. needs vitamins and nutrients, yes. especially if you're not taking a multivitamin. Yes. Um, so eat your greens. Definitely eat um, your greens. So that's, that's... Do you want to give them an example of how to calculate their macros? Extremely simple and easy. You know what? I, you know, I was going to dive into this, but it's very complicated to go through this. So how about, how about we do... Right, uh, the, so yeah, we yeah, already we'll do, did yeah. my macros. So let's do keep jobs. this as simple as possible. All right, so for example, I weigh 190... Oh, it's backwards. It's crap. Backwards. Ah, <laughs> I weigh 196 pounds, okay? Now, in order to figure out what my BMR is, what's, my, what's your BMR? What does that mean? That's a busy my body weight. Which that's, we talked about before. Yep. That's, so that's how much calories your body is burning at rest. Simple right? as that. Simple. All right, so take your body weight, take it, times it by 10. That'll give you your overall calorie breakdown. Now, I know this is backwards, so it's going to look extremely confusing, but my overall calories, obviously 196 times 10 is 1960. Now, if I want to lose a pound a week, subtract 500 from that. So you take 1960, right, minus 500. My overall calorie goal for the day is 1460. Yep. Okay, write that number down when you do your own. Now, from here. So let, let's go back yeah, to that real okay, quick. Okay, let's so, go back to this. Okay, so you guys, just to break it down what he said, right? So he multiplied, he got the BMR. The BMR, like I said, is how much calories your body burns at rest throughout the day, right? At the end of the day, that's how much calories that, you know, your body burns. If you want to lose weight, you have to create a deficit. Remember that, right? You want to create a deficit. That means you want to eat less than your body, you know, is burned. So by minus and 500, excuse me, he created that deficit. 500 calories, you know, uh, every day, that's equivalent to a pound a week. Right, so he did 500. So now that's where he gets that from. Right now, if he eats that consistently, he's creating that 500 calorie Let me deficit. I'm on average about I'm gonna lose about a pound, pound a week. Right, the biggest mistake people do is they do like a thousand calories, they do create too much of a deficit, and that's counterproductive. You're not getting your body enough of what it needs. Yeah, right, metabolism is gonna slow down exactly. And you're be right, groggy. And <laughs> if you eat too few, so if you eat past what your body needs. You're going to create a caloric surplus yep. and you're going to gain weight. And this has to be consistent all week long. And that's where people mess up. is like they do it one or two days and then they, they fall off. 
and they're like, I didn't lose weight. I thought I was doing good. So it has to be consistent. You have to stick to it all you want. That's why it's good to know these numbers, to measure it out, and then to go from there. And you might say, I don't have time to measure. I don't have time to do it. You have to start with it. Just so you get an idea. So you get an idea. Once you create the habits yep. and you can sustain it, then you don't you, you do it once, right? You learn the process and now you can move forward from there and start getting the result. But if you don't do it, if you don't take the time to do the calculation and find out what exactly your body needs, you're guessing. Mm -hmm. It's a guessing game. You know what I'm saying? So continue. So from there, now you take what? Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I just had right, a phone so call I had to decline. Real quick, go back from there. You take 1460, all right? Now, we want to do a 40, 40, 20 macro uh, uh, split. So 40% protein, you take 1460 times 40% or 0 0.40. That comes out to 584 calories. So that's how many calories of protein I want. Now to figure out in grams, you just take 584. There's four grams per calorie. You divide 584 divided by four. That gives me 146 grams of protein. Same goes for carbs, because carbs, again, are four grams per calorie. So those numbers stay the same. So I'm gonna have 146 grams of protein, 146 grams of carbs, total 584 each. Fats are what it gets a little bit different because fat is more calorie dense. It's nine grams per calorie. So you take the same number, 1460, times 20% or 0.20, and that will give me 292 calories. Take 292, again, divide it by nine, all right, and that gives me 32 grams of fat. That, for me, are, would be my macronutrient um, diet right there mm -hmm. for fat loss, let's just say. Or for just to look overall great and live a normal, somewhat healthy lifestyle, and not feel too much of like I'm in a, too much of a deficit. Yeah. You know? And I always tell people the best thing you could do is use my fitness pal. It's a free app. Mm -hmm. You can plug in these numbers and then you just track your food for either a week, two weeks. If you want to go beyond that, by all means. But again, it's putting a habit system and it's implementing it. We could sit here all day and talk to you about macros and that, but it's up to you to finally just make that five second decision and just say, you know what, today's the day I'm gonna start my, you know, my my new fitness journey and track my macros and you know overall change my eating habits. But again, it's up to you, you know? So, is there anything else you want to No, that was that? perfect. Like, he, he literally brought, and some of you guys, this might be whoo, going right <laughs> over your head. You're like, I don't get it, you know? But he broke it down right there, right? He's doing 500 calories, you know, 80 calories in, in, in the protein and the carbs, and then calories is lower, you know, in the fats, because obviously, you know, he's keeping that down. Oh, sorry, my, my battery's died. Um, but yeah, so, you have to take the time to do this, right? And another thing is like, you know, alcohol. If you want enough, I've been asked. Alcohol has seven calories per gram, right? Remember that. So alcohol is not the same. It's a, people think it's a carb, but alcohol actually has its own calorie content. We're seven calories. So if you're doing alcohol and you want to factor in wine into your diet at Ooh. night, <laughs> All right. Yeah. Also, what you're cooking with. Oh, yeah, yeah. What you're cooking with, People right? They forget. Yeah. The, oh, olive oil. I forgot completely. Hidden forgot calories. About that. Hidden exactly. calories. It's all in here. Hidden calories, right? But everything John said just right now, guys, is in, in here. This book, Literally, you can take the time, break it down, and figure it out for yourself. But in order for this to work, you have to do the work, right? So macros again to go over again. It's your protein, your fats, your carbs. You need to figure out your macronutrients all right and create your program how much calories you need daily in order to achieve the results you want your individualized program right so once you do that now you can tweak right mm -hmm. say you do the 40 40 20 you go for two three weeks you got to give it time guys exactly. your body needs to see consistency needs to recalibrate yep. right mm -hmm. it recalibrates it says oh this is consistent then it makes changes after 21 days if nothing moves, nothing happens, not just on the scale, physique-wise, body fat, the way you look, pictures, right? Because you might, by doing this, eating more carbs, the scale might not move, but you might, your body composition might change because you start gaining muscle. You start feeding your body. And you're like, oh my God, I'm eating more carbs now, but my weight is not moving. But damn, look at your arms. But damn. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But then you're, you're, getting, you're getting tight. You're getting firmer. You know what I'm getting saying? Tight. So you there can't you always use the scale as a way to measure your, your progress, guys. Right? So trust the process. 
You stick to it. 21 days. Mm -hmm. Try it out. It doesn't work. Build a habit. Build a habit. Then we tweak. Thing. All right, you know what? Let's, let's, me let's mess with the macronutrients. Let's go 30% fats. Let's pull from the carbs. Let's go right to the fats. This is where right? things get fun. This is where it gets fun. Mm -hmm. Because now you see, literally test. Little detail changes. Oh, oh my God, so I never had that line Yeah, before. exactly. And now we do that. We test it. Give it a week. Give it two weeks. Right? Once your body gets started, it sees consistency. Boom. Like I said, it starts changing. Say you start doing that, starts working, get to a plateau. Now we tweak again. Let's say, okay, let's pull back. Let's go back here. Let's do, it's, it's, listen, it's science, guys. These are endless. It's science. This yeah. is science. You know, so that's what some of you guys aren't, you know, stuck. And you're like, I don't get it. I, and you jump shit from one diet to the next, to the yeah. next, to the next, to the next. Never really giving it all the time and needs required for your body to adjust and not really understanding the breakdown, you know, some people don't believe in, in count. Now, another thing, should you be counting calories? Some people are like, oh, I don't want to count calories. Listen, you have to understand what you put into your body, mm -hmm. right? You got to. And once you do, you don't have to always count anymore because you've, you've learned this. Like a thing you learn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you, you know count. how to do, if you know how to do three plus three, it's six, right? But when you're a kid, three plus three, you go, <laughs> Sex, right? <laughs> right? But as a kid, you, you do that, right? But once you get better, you don't need yeah, to do that anymore. Nature. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly. So in the beginning, you got to be like, all right, weigh in this. But soon, eventually, you'll be like, boom. Okay, I know that's four ounces. I know that's this. I know that's boom. And it's done. But yeah. you got to do the work in the beginning. You got to put in the work, you know? So if you guys get any questions about this, man, yeah, like I said, we can stop. talk about this forever, You can even go online. And instead of having to do the math yourself, there's online calculators oh, yeah. that you could literally just put There's even apps. There's, there's apps. Apps now you apps. can put this I'm on. I'm sure my fitness my pal fitness probably pal. has it built into it. Yeah. But again, use my fitness pal. It's the easiest to use. You do it for the first week, it'll memorize all your foods so you don't even have to keep clicking in. You just click of a button, boom, you have all your foods. Follow yep. that. Once you get an idea of it, then you're free sailing. Follow that for two, three, four weeks and then readjust it. Mm -hmm. You know, but again, it's it's how it's how bad do you want it, you know, how bad do you want the results and how how hungry are you for change? Yep. So hundred percent. You know, it's 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 completely up to you what you want to do with it. So Yeah, man. Yeah, so if you guys get any questions, post it up. All right, I don't know if I don't see anything here. I can't see the questions here. But if you get any questions, post it up. Let us know. Let us know what the next topic. I think Frank is the one that brought this up to me about macros. I think Frank is. So thank you for letting me know. Um, it was definitely great to talk about. It helped a lot of people, I believe. So if you have any questions about macros, if you need help figuring out your stuff, you know, um, um, let us know. I would love to help you guys. That's what we're here for. We're, we're here for your coaches. As always, you. we went over probably <laughs> five minutes of the video. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're going to cut it down because if we keep going, this is going to be like an hour long. All right, guys. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Love you all. Till next time. Peace.